the ace, the two, the three, and the four. I'm going to start with the ace. I'm going to put the ace into the packet, right in the center. It's not on the bottom, it's not on the top. If I shake the packet, it will jump to the top. I'll do it again. Look, I'll put the ace in, it goes into the middle, it's not on the bottom, but the ace will jump to the top. That's the first one. I'll do it with the two. The two goes into the packet, it's not there, but the two will jump to the top. Now that leaves the three and the four. The three can do something, and that is turn face up, like a somersault. Which leaves just one playing card, the four. And that can actually only do one thing, and that is turn into your card. Clubs, hearts, spades, and diamonds. Four Blueback Kings bicycle playing cards. Now, one by one, they're going to turn face up. If I do that, the first king has just turned face up. Let me prove it to you. There is the first king. What's this? There is now the second king. What's this? There is now the third king. And finally, there is the last king. Now, do you remember the colour of the backs? Yeah, blue. You're not watching, are you? These are actually red. You've got to watch very, very closely. <laughs> that I like. You like that? I like that. <laughs> Remember I've got the jacks, one, two, I'll leave them here in a moment, three and four. Watch this. Can you cut three quarters of the deck and place it there? Three quarters. A bit more than that, I think. That's it, that's it. And place it, that's it. And two thirds of that there. That's it. And half of those there. Now I'm going to ask you, how many cards, how many do you think is in the first packet? Um, Approximately. 16. I think so. I'm going to mark it with a jack, okay? How many in the second packet? 15. I think so. I'm going to mark it with a second jack. How many in the third packet? 12. I'll mark it with a third jack. And how many in the last packet? 13. And I'll mark it with the last jack. So watch closely. This is my leader packet, because all I'm going to do is this. And those jacks have just bounced over here. That's magical, isn't it? But bearing in mind at the beginning, you cut anywhere you wanted to. You cut here, 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 and you cut there. How did you do that? Watch this. Now this is interesting, this is. I've got five blue cards here. One, two, three, four, five. Five blue cards. They're all the same. They're all uh, uh, ace of spades. One, two, three, four, five. Now the magic is this. I'm going to mix them face up and face down. One, two, three, four, five. Is that fair? Watch this. If I take this ace here and snap it, the magic has happened because these have now all turned face up. Now you don't look remotely impressed, but do you remember the colour of the backs? Well, not anymore because I've got orange, green, pink, black and red. <laughs> Thank you. Come down and have a look. I've got four playing cards here, the four kings. The king of spades is the one to watch. That's the one to watch. It's second from face to the packet. If I turn the packet face down and reverse the order, it should bring it to second from top. But because I'm cheating, it's actually on the bottom. Now look, if it's on the bottom, watch very closely. If I reverse the order, where does that bring it? Now most people say to the top and they'd be right, it's there. Would you put money on it? You shouldn't, because that's actually the king of clubs. The king of spades is right here. Look, I'll put the king of spades on the bottom. If I put the king under it, where's the king of spades? It's actually back on top. I'll leave the king of spades down there. Would you put your money on it? I bet you wouldn't, and you shouldn't, because that's the king of diamonds. The king of spades is over here. Look, I'll leave the king of spades face up and bury it in the packet. It really is face up in the packet, and that's true. Am I right? Well, I'm wrong, because actually the king of hearts is face up. Look, I'll leave them all face down, four face down kings, correct? No, you're actually wrong, because the king of spades is right there. Now, it should be easy to follow the king of spades. Do you know why? It's the only one with a red back, and more than that, it's the only one with a bloody great hole in it. Whoa. Well, I like that one. I collect the ace of spades. I've got a whole stack of these. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I've got eight of these. And I'm going to mix these face up and face down. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Is that fair? Yeah. Yeah, you can see that? That's fair, isn't it? I'm going to square them up and I'm going to split them into two packets. So, face up, face down, face up and face down. And the reverse here, really. The magic is this. These are all going to turn face up. By magic, they'll turn face down. Here we go. Watch this. There is the first one. I shake the packet, and there is the second one. That's magical, and instantly, obviously, all these are now face down. That's a strong trick. I can go further than that, because there's nothing you can do with a whole bunch of ace of spades. Unless you play poker, you could turn those into a raw flush. But if you did that, you'd need a lot of money to pay off all your debts, which you could do with credit. <laughs> 
is it's to... But I'm going to do two tricks. But can I do a couple of things for you? Is that all right? Angie, um, come a bit closer, because I need both the two, the two girls here, OK? Would you take that pen for me? Don't get it on your clothes. You'll never come off. And Louise, do you take that pen for me? Angie, can you sign those four jacks wherever? And in the middle there, those four fours. So I can sign it on the top? Well, well, yeah, yeah. You do it the same on each card, so we can keep an eye on your signature. Yeah, sort of, and your phone number, it's alright. <laughs> uh, right in the middle there. I get lots of fellows give me their number. Thank you. Now, when you were at school, didn't you do Joy Dub Lighting? <laughs> uh, I can see that. Now, I am. Uh, <laughs> unbelievable. Watch very close to here. Make sure my pockets are empty. So, these cards have been signed, that's fair dues. Am I right? So, watch this. The cards have been signed. Don't keep your eyes on this, Louise, look. Am I right? Watch, watch the handling. So we've got the four of clubs, the four of hearts, the four of spades, and the four of diamonds. We do all writing on it. I'm going to leave the fours in the middle of the mat, and the jacks, I'm going to put one jack in each pocket. So the jack of clubs goes in my jacket pocket here with your writing on it. Yeah. The heart goes here. That leaves the spade and the diamond. I could have put the spade in that pocket and the diamond in my inner jacket pocket. Is that fair? Yeah. So on the table, we've got the fours. Now what's going to happen in is the fours are going to switch places with the jacks. Yeah. <laughs> and if I get this right, would you go wild with applause? Yes. OK, well, look over here. There is now the first jack. <laughs> look, I'll do it again. There is now the second jack with your writing on it. So it's two jacks and two fours. I'll do it again. There's the third jack. Three jacks and one four. And hopefully, I've now got all four jacks. Thank you. But I could go further, because you're probably wondering what's in my pockets. Well, up here should now be, there's a four there with your writing on it, a four there with your writing on it, a four with your writing there, and a last one, oh, hang on, in that pocket down there, there is the last four with your writing on it. But that wasn't the one you asked about, was it? I'll do the other one you asked about. I've got charts everywhere. Watch this. I'm going to take out a prediction card. Uh, Louise, that does with you, can I? Uh, I'm going to use this one here. That's my mystery card, my prediction card. I'll leave it right there. You keep your beady eyes on it, won't you? When I say beady, I don't mean they are beady. <laughs> yeah, how to win friends and influence people, you know what I mean? Okay, so keep an eye on that, won't you? Uh, so, Angie, I'm going uh, to take out a four of a kind here. I think I'll use... I think I'll use the queens for this. Yeah, I'll use the queens. So I'm going to ask you to choose a card in a minute. I'll leave these right here. Can you reach into the deck, take any one you want, and then sign your name on the face of it, okay? Oh, it's already... Now, what's your card, the five of diamonds? Don't, don't let me see it. Take any one you I'm want. Sorry. I, I, I know, I know. Every now, have, have a look at it, don't show me. Okay. And sign your name on the face of it. Will you do that for me? So next time we see that card, we know it has to be yourself, your card, just when you're writing it. Would you mind recapping the pen? You never know. So don't forget I've got the queens over here. Now, watch this. The Queen of Spades goes under the card, okay? Under. Remember that? The Queen of Clubs goes above it, above the mystery card, the heart and diamond with a pen on top. Is that fair? What's on top at the moment? The Club or the Spade? It's hard to follow, isn't it? I'm going to go and do something amazing. I'm going to switch them. Do you see the switch? I don't mean here, I mean over here. Because now over here, I've got the two black ones. Which means over here, I've now Same got one. the two red ones. Now, do you remember the mystery card? I put that there at the beginning. <laughs> so that happens to be your sign, three of clubs. Oh, that's just amazing. Oh, come on. It's very good. Yay! What a group. It's unbelievable. It's like working for the old folks home. <laughs> oh. And that'll be in the That'll be, I'm going to keep that in there, you know. <laughs> don't you? Um, four very old playing cards. These are ancient. You'll recognise these, John. Yeah, sure. Um, you changed it. <laughs> I've got three blacks and a red. The red one is the money card, the one to watch, OK? Keep an eye on the red one. I'll start by leaving one of the blacks in the pocket, which leaves the red between the other two blacks. It's protruding, but you can see that, can't you? Yep, definitely. Where's the red? Uh, the top. Now where? You're not too sure, are you? But look, I can tell you, it's not there. It's not there, it's not there. It's actually in my pocket up here. Thank you. Thank you, John. Now look, look there is the red. Watch closely. If I move them around a bit, where does that move the red to? Bottom. No, it's on top. If I put it open on the bottom, where is it now? Oh, it's on the bottom. It's on top. 
Now, to make it easier to follow, I'll leave the red in my pocket. In fact, I'll leave it that way so you can keep an eye on it. Hey, look, that leaves one, two, three blacks and a red. The red goes to the bottom, where's the red? Mm. It's on the top. If I leave the red on the table, would you put money on it? You shouldn't because it's actually a black one. Now that leaves two blacks and a red. So if I ask you to find the two blacks, the odds are better, aren't they? Where are they? Uh, middle and... Well, this they're one. not actually because these are all red and that's why you never win. Thank you, and that's, you end with... That's clean.